You're welcome to Sports Business with Urufo Ezaga. The program is Sports Business, and our focus is on how to grow the domestic industry in Nigeria. You're watching Plus TV Africa, and we're reaching you live from our, from our studios in Lagos. Ed, um, I think we, we need, you need to just let our audience know what you guys are doing to ensure that your next season would be a better, would, would mean better coverage and, and more excitement. You know, we still are struggling with not having video replays and things like that. What are you going to do next season that uh, fans should look forward to? That is the uh, 64 million Naira question. Um, we are doing a number of things. First of all, we, are, we will definitely re-engage with the highlights, highlights packages um, and the best moments of the matches uh, and interviews. We will experiment with multicams uh, linked up to um, our um, uh, AI cameras. If you remember, when I was last on the show, one of your other guests was, um, uh, was Matt, um, who we worked with over the weekend at the William Truce Foundation. We will be talking to him about engaging his production to do that. We won't do that for every game, but certainly for the main games. Um, we will also um, complete uh, all, all of the stadium with the um, Starling um, uh, internet because um, there are too many uh, incidents of dropout um, with uh, the internet. And in order to ensure the best quality and the best viewer experience, we have to make sure that doesn't happen. So we will be investing. At the moment, I think we have three um, Starling, and we will invest in another five um, to make sure that the internet connection is um, as good as it can be. Uh, and uh, and then it's as I say, it's more of the same. It's bringing in sponsors. Bringing in sponsors means that we can um, market the games um, more professionally, make sure that there are wider audiences, and engage. Uh, as Paul has said, um, the engagement with the fan understanding that the fan is the, the heartbeat of the club um, it means that we can then continue to grow but just seeing the attendances of what we're seeing now compared to when we started um, in September of last year in itself is very very encouraging so those are the things and we will listen we will listen to your viewers we will listen to um, uh, people of experience and make sure that where they have ideas uh, and we can make them work, we will uh, adopt those into our coverage. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to ask you this question, but I'd also like um, Paul's input. Do you think we need a bit more drama in our league? Because over the course of the season, I, I, there's not one player I can point to now that off the top of my head that created the sort of drama we used to have in our league way back, way back in the 80s and 90s and what happens in, in international football. No, for, in, for instance, we don't have any um, Eric Cantona Kung Fu kick, you know. We haven't had anything to talk about. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't want to endorse the players jumping in the crowd and kicking the fans. <laughs> thank, thank, thank goodness for that. Yes. Uh, but, but I think look, the, the drama comes with uh, the experience and you know I'm just looking at the MPFL table there I think it looks as if there's plenty of, of drama in the league at the minute you know but I think it's a two points separating the top three teams mm. so it's going to be a fantastic um, a fantastic few weeks and hopefully you can get similar drama to what we've had here in England where they obviously the games went down to the last game of the season uh, that, and the Paul's right that creates the drama will create itself you can't manufacture drama otherwise it's no longer drama um, it, drama comes in the heat of the moment when there's uh, when there's three minutes left in the game to decide the league, um, and um, and a goal is scored or a save is made or okay. a foul is committed. Yeah, That's like okay, like Sporting Lagos, um, there have been some fantastic goals from Remo Stars, and there was this goal by Sporting Lagos, 16 passes, no, and then goal. 
It, it wasn't touched by the opponent. You know, these are the things that we see from Europe that make us go, you know, um, crazy with, with, joy, with joy. But they happen in our league as well, and we need to tell more of the stories so that people can see that the MPFL has good content both off, on, and off the pitch. It's been great having you guys on the program, um, Ed and Paul. Um, I hope to engage with you further. Uh, the, more, the more we get into this, business of building the MPFL. Uh, thank you very much and um, it, have a it's, good... It's our pleasure. Thank you for having us. I'm delighted to be able to introduce Paul to the Nigerian public. I'm sure lots of them already knew of him from uh, his, uh, his playing days, um, but um, we are delighted to be with you. And the we are expecting him in, we're expecting him in Nigeria and when he comes, we're expecting him also to lace his boots. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's no problem. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. But just for the five minutes, yeah? No longer than five minutes. Sorry? I said I'll just play for the five minutes, no longer. No, no, pro no problem, no problem. <laughs> you know? And there's some legends here that would want to, to also test your, how, how well you still are you know, in the game. There's still the JJ Okochas, the Kanu Wankwas, the uh, Mutu Adekwa Jews. You know, Ed, when they come, I think you need to sort, you need to prepare an all-star match. You know, it doesn't matter whether they're the, the, the We definitely will do that. All right, yeah, then. I'll speak, to, I'll speak to my good friend, Yukubu, as well, and get him over. Very good friend. No problem, no problem. All right, then. Nice, nice talking to you. So, ladies and uh, so now we're going to go to, uh, this, to Mr. Paul Maduako, who is an a sports merchandising entrepreneur. He's, um, he's the CEO of ProStar Pro and he's done extensive work in, in, in the sports industry for over 20 years. Hello Paul, how are you? Afternoon my brother. Yeah, you should have been in the studio with me today. Um, <laughs> I know that, you know, the strike has been called off the now, to me, but, but, no. but I'm happy that you are still you're still with us, even if uh, virtually. You know, how are you today? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm cool. Thank you so much. Okay, so tell us about Posta. You're the first guest on this program uh, who is into sports merchandising uh, or sports merchandise. What, what are you doing in that industry? What exactly are you doing right now? And how, how easy or how difficult has it been? Okay, thank you so much. Um, good afternoon, Nigerians. Good afternoon, viewers. My name is Mr. Paul Madwako. I'm the MD CEO of Zenith Sports. And um, Prosta is our brand product. We used to be Haggai, but we used to, we used to um, rebrand. And the process of the branding, we came about the Haggai name. Mm. Um, Haggai, as it is, used to be one of the local brands that is competing among the likes. But we now found out that, yeah, we need to step up our game. We need to look at the international stage and play a premium game. That was where we came up with the brand, ProStar. Okay. So the ProStar is a, is a domestic brand or, or it's an affiliate of an international brand? What, what is it? Uh, no, it's it's not an affiliate. Yeah. But we want to play at the international stage. We we actually want to set our sights in competition with the famous brands. That's why we actually changed the brand. Yeah. And we also come up with that name, you know, Pro Star. Star. Because our brand Haggai, yeah. some people don't even misnake the name to Haggai. You know, so okay. some question is Haggai. So we now said, instead of us to be struggling with this, why not we come out? Um, in premium standards and actually face the business globally. Okay. So, so what do you do exactly? You you do kits. You okay. Do... We do general sports equipment. Okay. Under Haggai, we are we are just doing sportswear, but under Prosta, we are doing everything that has to do with uh, sports equipment. Currently, we are uh, we'll be signing partnership deal with NNL to add value to the league mm. with uh, for the next five years. 
and we've actually produced and delivered official match ball. That's first of its kind in Nigeria. Oh, we're wow. delivering official match ball for the league. Okay. So whenever you you see the NNL club playing, then you find out that yes, there is a product they are promoting. You know, you know, in partnership most times we think partnership is just about giving us money. Partnership mm. in real sense is adding value to mm. the collective process. Okay, so are you getting what's like um, the feedback you're getting? Are you uh, are the clubs or the, the, the managers of the league uh, responding favorably to what you're doing? Do you have any particular yeah. deals? Yeah, we have. Do you have any we, particular deals you don't want to refer to? Yeah, we've actually experimented the uh, process and we got very good uh, feedback. Like the gestures you just uh, pl uh, played on the screen now is official kit for the special egos, the amputee national team okay. that just won the fourth position and qualified for the World Cup in Egypt. Okay. And I must bet you that in Egypt, Nigeria is the world and best dressed team. Okay. I and can see it. They are lovely. Represent a product of Prosta made in Lagos, Nigeria. Wow. They are lo they're lovely looking, but are these materials created in Nigeria? Uh, sorry, are um, they that, produced? That, are they produced in Nigeria? Yeah, they're hundred percent produced in Ojue Legba, Lagos, Nigeria. Oh, what about the, the materials? The the the, the, yeah. the, the yeah, fabric that's or what? the material factor we have, yeah. I must tell you the valuation process is zero when it comes to production in Nigeria. It's major militating factor. You lack the expertise, you lack the dedicated tellers, you lack the um the uh, the engineers that we install or service or maintain your machineries, yeah. you lack all forms of production materials from thread to button to zip to yarn to material. Everything is has to be imported. So, you know, everybody celebrates China. China is not rocket science. A factory in China does not do everything. There are components of those who produce, who produce those materials all around them. So it is easier for them to produce, easier to, for them to mass produce. At every point of production, nothing stops them. But in Nigeria, it's a major factor that is actually indicating against production in Nigeria. So you still need to bring in a lot of the components? Every component from A to Z has to come in from outside. Wow. So is, yeah. is there a way forward? Is there, how do we move from you know, um, consuming so much to producing some parts of the, you know, of the, of the, some parts of, you know, your values, your own value chain. How do you, how do you then um, do more locally? Um, do, do you have a pathway? Okay, yeah. Um, uh, in, in everything, we have to keep moving. You, okay, so if you just say you are stopping finally, then everything collapses, you know, mm. so and somebody must actually do the sacrifice. But one of the major problem of this industry is, is patronage. The okay. government institutions across board does not really, really, really patronize the local manufacturers. I'm okay. telling you, if the local manufacturers have a retainership kind of contract with government agencies okay we will bring all these things in you start creating value chain around it yeah. and by so doing expert experts can come in to even help to manage and yeah. grow the, the industry and you know um, um in all necessity of life after food um clothing is next thing because it cannot work naked on the streets yeah so it is a huge industry just that there is total neglect in all of it so i wish that the government agencies you know with nigeria is going to the olympic now that nothing stops the ministry of sports to engage a local manufacturer and give all necessary support and even engage not just for one of you can say okay for the next two olympics all african games commonwealth games we want to partner with this particular company i'm telling you before you know it that company will start going to ghana to Benin, to yeah. togo to kudeva to seek for contract and sponsorship to even uh, keep their own okay but but I, I know that there you have competitors right and some of them last olympics for instance um, i think the basketball team was um uh, kitted by by a local m manufacturer i mean i've seen things like that i don't i don't know whether it's last olympics 
or whether it's, it's the big. Afro basket. You know, so what's the competitive picture like? Now, the competition, the Nigeria market space is very huge and large. Mm. It's not, I don't think we've even started the competition. And again, I want you to know also that the sport industry is so large that even the famous companies, the likes of Adidas or Nike or Puma or Reebok, mm. cannot even satisfy the needs and yearnings of the sports industry. Okay, so in Nigeria, we've not started. Now that it's a one off thing, that's part of what I'm saying. It's a one off thing that you just give them contract to kit the Olympic. It's not enough. Mm. You understand? Yeah. It's not enough. What yeah. is enough is okay, we are engaging for the next three or five years indirectly. It's support. Most of the companies you see excel in abroad, like automobile industry, this or that, they have direct engagement with the with the with the government. Yeah. with institutions of government. Yeah. So with that, you know that, yes, my overhead cost is really assured. Every other excess thing is to move and improve the industry. So you don't keep struggling over and over just because you want to remain in the industry. Okay. But what government would you um, be looking at exactly? Because there are the state governments, and then there's the federal government, right? The state governments yeah. are also involved in sports in some way or the other. Would you... What, which is the lower hanging fruit, the, the state government or the federal government? No, I think it's the federal government. Okay. The federal government showed us the maturity of everything that burdens in economy. Mm. I must tell you, uh, let me set an example with the uh, Ministry of Education. If, for instance, all the unity schools says, okay, we're going to contract with a particular brand, give and take, that brand in the next three years becomes an international brand because they have to they have to bring in more machineries, bring in more experts, bring in more tellers, bring in more workshop. They establish the industry that can sustain 114 unity schools, in which uh, King's College is about 3,600 students, Queen's College is about 4,000 students, and Janiki is about 4,000 students. So imagine if a company can do it. I'm not saying um, we will not allow every other thing to flow, but the truth is, when you just give contractors who want to just make profit and go and buy land or make profit and go and buy cow, make profit and divide, divest that money, it has not built that industry. Yeah. And when an industry is well built, you're not building it for today. You are building it for sustenance, for posterity, and for international competition. Because by the time you made it in Nigerian market, the next market is neighboring countries. Yeah. You understand? So yeah. we need to actually, that's why I don't even want to talk about football, basketball. That's why I want to use Ministry of Education. Ministry yeah. of Education on um, on inter-house sport is a big market. Yeah. You understand? Okay, exactly. so Paul, you are going to, for the yeah. Super 8, right? Um, yes. So you have a deal with the NNL, right? That's yeah. the second, yeah. second tier of the Nigerian football. Are you going to be yeah. with them again next? Are you going to? Is the deal just starting? And are you also prospecting the uh, the MPFL uh, management as well? Yeah, um, for the NNL, like I said, we are signing off uh, on the seventh. Okay. Sign off for a five-year value driven deal it's not about money now but it's about creating value, value yeah. that we drive and that comprises what do you give to them yeah what we do is we are you know like what adidas is doing with fifa yeah adidas cutters for everything that fifa wears you understand mm. so okay indirect that's what we start bringing on board that's one off then the official match ball for nnl first of its kind in nigeria for a league ball to endorse a ball and use it is also co coming on on stage so with that we are also uh, we've opened discussions with uh, other league across but we are also i don't know if you know about the seven aside pro, um seven aside national championship no i'm not aware of that yeah okay seven aside is is i think is one of the 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 most intense football competition anybody can play in yeah. seven aside you must be active on the pitch. If not, you will lose the, the game. So we are also signing with them. In fact, this is their jersey I'm wearing. This yeah. is the shirt. We just also uh, did the press conference for the uh, bridge league that will start with Abuja. Okay? So yeah. we are we are already signing on, on institutions and organizations for the purpose of actually uh, creating a brand that we 
that would lead the path of progress in sport industry in Nigeria okay. and that cannot compete favorable with the famous brand. Because the truth is, these famous brands still make what we make. It's yeah. just because of value they have created over time that yeah. will make them tag their prices on the high side. So okay. if, uh, if uh, we are able to... All right, Paul, sorry. Uh, we, we have to um, wrap it up now, all right? Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, been, it's been nice talking to you. I'm going to, pr I promise you that I'm going to give you um, more time to speak about this, you know, in the, in the okay. coming weeks and months, right? Uh, because okay. what you're doing is very good and is very needed in, in our domestic sports space. All right? We'll yeah. be talking to Mr. Yeah. Paul Mad Madwako, the CEO of ProStar, um, ProStar. There is sports merchandise. ProStar Sports International. ProStar Sports International. Thanks, Paul. Yes. Yeah, and Thank um, so yeah. So we're going to be talking a lot more with him in the in the weeks and months to come. And that's been Thanks. our package today. And um, I'm sure you had a, a great time listening to Ed Simons, Paul Dickoff, and now Paul Madwako. Until we meet again next week. Uh, this is me, Orufo Ezaga, saying. Uh, be productive, be good, and stay safe.